As part of the Core Organic Pro Pig project, we visited 74 organic pig producers in eight countries. The producers use different management systems, outdoor, partly outdoor and indoor housed with outrun. A Pro Pig handbook summarizes the knowledge gathered as a part of the project. This handbook contains chapters on key issues such as fertility, diarrhea, respiratory illnesses, injuries and other problems. It combines the pig farmer's knowledge with scientific, advisory and experiential knowledge. It outlines important preventive measures. The handbook differs from common teaching aids or information brochures in that it is comprised of checklists. This week I was able to determine firsthand that the handbook is of real practical benefit. Last Sunday I noticed diarrhea in one of the piglet pens. I use my standard strategy of administering a mix of homeopathic remedies once every hour. But I also forgot to offer an electrolyte solution in conjunction with the homeopathic treatment. On Monday I received the handbook and looked at the checklist on diarrhea. When I open that chapter, I can choose from the following tabs. Housing, feeding, management and treatment. If I go to treatment, I can see a list of first aid measures. Right there, under the second bullet point, it says offer electrolyte solution in a trough. When I read that, I realized that it is exactly what I had forgotten to do. So I corrected my mistake. Unfortunately, it was a bit too late and I had already lost a few piglets. Clearly, even if you have a standard strategy, it is possible to forget some important element. We have been keeping organic pigs for 14 years now, and even though I consider myself quite experienced at this point, this handbook will help me. Using the checklists, I can tick off each point, safe in the knowledge that I have not forgotten anything, and that I really have done everything possible. I think this handbook is unique. I think it is very well structured. Uh, the pages are dirt repellent, so I can take it into the barn, no problem. I think the book is practice orientated and does without big scientific studies, which for me as a farmer can be hard to interpret. Instead, it contains checklists that I can go through step by step, and then things will work out. Mm -hmm.